Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to DIY a shelf. This is a three-tier shelf that I turned into a coffee station, a coffee bar, whatever you wanna call it. Um, back in Minneapolis, I used to have a coffee station, a coffee corner, coffee area, a place dedicated to put the best thing that we have on this earth in one spot. I had my coffee shoved in the corner of my um, kitchen on the counter because I didn't have a shelf for it and it's been a hard six months without it. So um, I was on Wayfair and I found this one three tier looking shelf that I suppose is for books or whatever. But I was like, I can make that my coffee bar. But then I was like, I'm balling on a budget and I need to DIY something because I've been watching a lot of DIY videos lately and I am uh, suddenly very interested in home improvement. We decided one day to go to Home Depot and just make it because we figured it's probably actually not that much cheaper, but it's a fun experience. I can do it with my best buddy and we had a lot of fun and it's just more rewarding and you can kind of make it however you want to make it. No judgments here, it's not perfect, but if we don't look too closely, uh, we're gonna be all right. So, let's get started. So we went to Home Depot, uh, we checked out a bunch of plants, a bunch of beautiful palms, which we did end up getting one. Home Depot is my favorite place to be. It smells like my backyard. It's just so fresh. So great. So much endless possibility. Let's go over here. Dude, let's get this. We gathered our materials. Now, I did not come up with this. <laughs> this was already a DIY video that I found on YouTube and I'm gonna link it down below because I don't need to steal this girl's stuff. Um, you can just go to her video and look exactly what she did and what she got. I changed up the dimensions um, and a few other like little things, but for the most part, I just followed what she did. Bad board, good board. <laughs> yeah. Bad word. Yeah, we'll just let the sand this. We'll just let the sand it. Okay. Alright, you gonna help me? Pull it out. Uh -oh. <laughs> Wait, how do you get it out? That's awkward. Look, there's the palm inside and the palm outside. Oh, crazy. <laughs> All right. How long did we spend at Home Depot? Two hours. I love it there, though. It smells so good. <laughs> I could be there all day. Wow. This is what I spent at Home Depot. I got an oil paintbrush for $7.84. I got two packs of screws. There were eight in each pack. Um, I got that for $1.96, but I already had, I actually needed, you know, 16 more screws, but uh, we already had screws at home. So we just got a few more. I got four uh, galvanized pipes. Um, I got the 12 inch ones because I wanted a pretty decent uh, gap in between each shelf because I wanted to put things that I knew were pretty tall there for the coffee station and that was just personal preference but you can get shorter ones that aren't as expensive. Uh, so four of those pipes were $38.28. They were $9.57 each. Then we got eight floor flangs, whatever the heck that is. It was just in the ladies video so it's the you know circle things that you screw the pipes in. They came in two packs. Um, or two in a pack and we got those for a total of $21 um, we got some stain and poly so stain um, was six dollars and 98 cents and the poly we just got a tinier one because it was pretty expensive but the tiny one was six dollars and 48 cents um, and then there was a paint care fee for 35 cents whatever the heck that means then we got our lumber which was $18.51 the lumber fee was 18 cents, and then lovely California tax, 
um, for a total of $101.58. Then we went on Amazon and got the legs for the bottom, those are $25. So we spent a total of $126.58 on this project. Equipment that we already had were things like a screwdriver, um, electric screwdriver, we had a sander, we had a couple other screws, and yeah. So we have that kind of equipment, we didn't need to buy anything else like that. Well, what? <laughs> there's always room for improvement. <laughs> then it was time to get to work. John started sanding everything. He was in charge of that. And I was in charge of making lattes. Um, obviously, and it was only fitting to include some latte footage in this because this is a coffee station after all. So after we were done sanding, um, it was time to stain. We made sure to clean off all of the excess stuff from sanding. Um, and then we cut up an old t-shirt and we just started staining. Come back to me. My sleeve's broken though. Yeah, I'm the back of the Oh, come here. You're the same shirt. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I didn't look up how to stain, I didn't look up what to do. I've just seen people in DIY other videos uh, dip like a cloth or an old t-shirt old rag into the stain and just kind of like throw it on there and then wipe off the excess. So that's what I did. I would, should have done another coat, but it's fine. Like, you can't really tell. Our lumber kind of had like a pink tint in the middle, which I don't, don't know why, but it kind of came through in certain areas. And I was like, we're always going to have stuff on it, so I don't really care. Um, I was just impatient and didn't feel like doing a second coat. So after we stained, um, it was time to obviously let that dry and everything it dried very quickly like an hour maybe not even um and then we put on the poly what's your favorite part so far dun, dun, dun. i don't have a favorite part the hardest part was picking the stain i think picking it yeah um <laughs> okay all right so you want to update us on the progress <laughs> so we put our first coat of poly on and it's like feeling kind of dry i guess <laughs> <laughs> um, but it's been like over an hour so i'm gonna put the second coat on and wait and then third coat hopefully we can get it done tonight but i think we're not going to until tomorrow okay bye it was time to put on the third coat which we skipped and um, I don't know, like, let me just say that this like shelf isn't necessarily built to last, but it is just perfect for this space. And everything worked out. It's not wobbly. Everything fits. It's like a great shelf, okay? We just skipped a third coat of poly because we're not going to be like eating on it or it's just, it's just a shelf to hold my coffee pots, you know? All right, what are we doing next? 
right, so. We're impatient. We're basically we're thinking, just gonna finish. <laughs> this is the bottom piece. Per discussion. They look pretty good. They're nicely intertwined. Rusted stuff. So how far do we want these out? <clears throat> we need to measure equally on each side. So let's do that. Piece it will be up a little higher. Yeah, it looks really cool. came for the thing. Uno. Ooh. So no. these are six inches. Four were $25 Dos. on Amazon. All right, let's put them on. Cool. Cool. What are you doing? I... I even grabbed the drill, did a little drill drill here and there. Um, was a lot of fun. And then it was time to decorate. Everything turned out great. And then we got to put all my coffee station, my coffee cups, all of my little knickknacks on there and I love it. I think it turned out really great. I don't know how long it's gonna last or what but it was a lot of fun it was fun to do with john um and it was extremely easy and we did it in a day if you guys have been wanting to do something like this i would highly recommend this style because it was just very easy very beginner friendly it's like perfect height too
And then obviously I had to make my first cup of coffee there. And it just changed the whole coffee experience and I'm very thankful for it. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun um, to do and I'm definitely going to be doing more DIY stuff. Hopefully I can just continue to get better and read more directions. Follow more instructions before I just uh, dive in. But it was fun to do with John and I love it. It's it's great. And if you have any other questions, just leave them down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!